everybody welcome back to cougar city podcast today we are with jpy 248 and we have a special guest merc 271 and we will be talking about the quality of life that we would love to see in the game um this is a topic that has come in the past but um since we have the new chapter and there's a lot of good quality of life stuff that they have put into the game this is a a good place to start as far as uh hey like you know what uh what is what is good what is good so i know jpy has been saying forever dungeon leaderboards um and we we have talked about dungeon leaderboards but do you think there's something JPY that uh, that people would like to see in the dungeon <clears throat> leaderboards to kind of get them pumped up for Sauce to make this change? Well, first of all, my life is already quality because Merc's here. <laughs> thank, you. thank you for joining us, Merc. Oh, um, thank you. Um, good to have you. Um, yeah, like I think like the leaderboards would be cool but like a resetting one or i don't know i i like 30 day campaigns are cool i guess and like 30 day like tribute campaigns but like yeah weekly or even like bi-weekly would be cool and you know what i was thinking too like what if they added even more like cosmetic stuff to that dude i want to i i know i mentioned this like a really long time ago and i it literally just popped in my head what if you could like like more do more with like your guild tabard like you oh, you could choose sick. to get like a patch like, yeah on your tabard like hey this guild like kind of to create like more like guild pride and like obviously you have five guilds or whatever but you know if i completed or made a leaderboard score you know obviously i'd want to represent like cougar city and like i could put like a star or something on the tabard or like something that shows like hey I'm repping this guild with like my reward or whatever. That is, I think that would be really cool. And like, you could just, you could leave it or whatever, maybe more stuff like that or like a different type of tabard. Like I like the tabard. I like to wear it and represent, but I hate that it covers up like my fashion scrolls. Oh, so I maybe agree. like, can you imagine like an outfit or something like a helm or a hat, like add more to that. Like what if we had Cougar city shoes or boots or like a shield or a crest on a shield, like, maybe like further customization like as far as guild taverns go and then like the leaderboard score things would you know we got like a red stripe because i did a true genius or something Dude. and you you <laughs> pick what guild it goes to wouldn't that be really cool or a currency that you could buy like upgrade like the guild taverns the... like it's something cosmetic but it's something that really, like, you just blew really my mind it. with that that is sick i would love that yeah just it just popped in my head like that is like, that is sick like that would be cool like like a stripe or something um like currency actually would be cool and it's interesting that you say like repping guilds because that is another thing that i was gonna talk about and it kind it could kind of go with with the the leaderboard thing for the dungeons i think bi-weekly is probably better um because that gives people like enough time to like actually work on their tunes and such and then like beat beat something you know <clears throat> like they're waiting 30 days so i guess like the principal thing the most realistic quality of life thing is i hate like the longer 30 day like waiting like i don't know i just you know i just it's a long time to like wait for a certain i would like shorter an option i know there is for like their seven day campaigns and stuff like that but it may be more flexibility in the length of like whatever campaign and then obviously like we threw in a bunch of other wild stuff into it but i don't know no that that would be cool um and it could be like if it's bi-weekly you could have it to where they pick um like you have the campaigns in cyrodiil you know what about having different dungeons in the in the bi-weekly thing having like a different tab um maybe you know in the uh, leaderboards achievement tab have it to where this this uh for the next two weeks like scrivener's hall uh vanish cells two um way rest one yeah you know like yeah it's yeah, yeah. different li- like different dungeons it's not just one dungeon but it's different dungeons and then um 
if you were to like get on the leaderboards for like x amount of dungeons then you get more currency i guess to to upgrade the the tavern or whatever yeah because like you want to make it a grind like somewhat of a or yeah. if everyone has it then it's like there's no value right exactly everyone exactly so you want to make it like and you could do it for like trials too really like a different currency and like but it's it's purely like cosmetic upgrades just to like rep your guild mm -hmm. or, or whatever you know or your tavern or buy like special clothing or whatever it'd be really cool to have like i don't know a sword that like said cougar city on the hilt or something or like the logo or, you or know the, what I mean? yeah like the the guild tavern logo or whatever like on, yeah, on something like whatever yeah. yeah 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 it'd be really cool like to deck your tune out almost like you know you're a soldier or whatever like a uniform yeah not just yeah. like a tavern yeah. yeah yeah that that would be cool and like i said like Mount, go, going into this whole guild thing um i wanted to have a guild hall an actual guild hall that you don't have to travel to crack's house or whatever i love crack to death and we spent a lot of money on the house for the for the guild but i want to have like a dedicated guild hall where um, people can actually have their houses and then there's a guild hall in the mix um, because I mean what if crack wants to showcase his houses and you know he's kind of stuck on hey I gotta mm. put my main primary residence as the guild hall because oh yeah you know yeah that part so actual plot it make it an actual slotted like thing mm -hmm. well you can even get further with that reward system yeah. from dungeons exactly. and like turn it into items for that house exactly too. that's that's mm -hmm. that's actually what i was going into so um i know jen um and i were talking about this the other day and she might actually come in she's uh i think she was said she's running a little bit late or whatnot she might be uh afk for a minute but um we were saying that there should be some like a quest thing for the guilds every week uh for the guild hall to maintain a guild hall and to maintain like the guild bank slot because i think the guild bank slot that's really good too yeah, yeah like x amount of vet dungeon clears vet exactly vet yeah like an endeavor type system but yes like, yeah that would be really cool yeah too. so yeah. if if you want to keep your guild hall every week you have to have an endeavor kind of system and you have the guildies actually do that um you could have it to where they go into the the endeavor system and they pick it up and it doesn't have to be just for one guild like let's say that you finish a trial it can count for all five of your guilds that way it's not like super crazy um to to do you know but depending on how many endeavors you you complete as a guild you know there's some reward systems in it that you could purchase or some currency or whatever that you could purchase to to kind of deck your guild hall around and i mean another thing is like if you finish um a dungeon together with your four guildies um have like a, a bust that you could put in the guild hall uh but they all have to be from the same guild same with trials you could you could have it to where the the guild could potentially showcase you know the samaja bus they they clear vcr or you know sanity's sanity's edge whatever it doesn't matter but that would be cool <clears throat> and then the the guild bank thing um to move it to like a thousand where if you have four to five hundred people then it would be a thousand slots in the guild bank because man 500 is just not enough for some of these bigger no. guilds yeah. and because I, I mean there's some guilds that open up their guild bank to, to guildies and they people just fill it up like all i have to say in the chat is like hey guys we need stuff in the guild bank and people just put random shit in there for for guildies so um i'm never worried about that but what jp what do you think are are some other things um you know um well you just you get, I thought of another one, and this this would literally like this is very probably unpopular in like the trading world. What if like in every city there was like a top PVE trader spot, and there was a point system, so you could technically have a Mournhold trader if you like did a bunch of stuff 
like a point system for that too That's, without having to pay gold um, like obviously you'd keep the same stalls but what if you added one and it or it could be random in like any city and you have like uh <clears throat> You know, every a vet hard mode trial clear is fifty points or whatever, and that and you create a currency so that way a lot of the other guilds that are like really really heavy into like PVE and stuff like raiding and not necessarily like the trader or the income game have an opportunity for like a stall or to upgrade a stall. Like you're not taking anything away, you're just adding like another one, like for performance and like PVE that doesn't cost like gold. Like you're, you know. Yeah, I mean. Like you're rewarding like like that part of the game. I don't so know. So people don't. So. I don't know if Sauce will go for that because the whole point of guild traders, um, and this is why they don't have like a a trader board because the whole point of the guild traders is to to create a gold sink. Um. Yeah, I get that. So, but adding one, like. I yeah, don't think but it maybe would... maybe though. Um, Maybe it should cost and like trials X. Um... Are, trials are gold sink, anyways. Like pots and like mats and farming out gear, they are indirectly. I yeah. know it's not a direct gold, yeah. gold sink, but I think I don't think it. I think what it would be better. I think I think it's that's a good idea, but put some sort of gold number attached to it. Like let's say um, they do it in the three capital cities, so you have three spots that your PVE guild could potentially okay. land. So you could keep it bid on, but only the PVE scored guilds can bid on it. Exactly. Like you have to yeah. lead a certain level. Yeah, exactly. Like, for the week, like let's like, you say, know damn well, like the mafias can't touch it with their gold. That's for exactly. like smaller guilds or exactly. guilds that like really work together. Like I think that like say i started like a really small guild we wouldn't have the kind of money to do that but if you know i had like 20 people that were dedicated to doing trials and pve and content mm -hmm. we would be put into a pool with a certain threshold and have that opportunity exactly. to like exactly yeah get it like going mm -hmm. yeah that'd be yep. cool that'd be like yeah, yeah, yeah we could work like cool. our ticket system even the more stuff you do the more chances you have you know like a lottery it, yep yep exactly well you i mean i'm not saying and the thing is is like I would make it like same thing with like the tabard stuff like or the dungeon rewards like these would be really high thresholds like mm -hmm. people would probably complain about it because that's you know like how everyone got an uproar with like the endeavor system it's like literally how are you complaining about something that's already given away free it's like exactly <laughs> you know what i mean it's free crowns like basically the endeavor system is like free, free crowns, crowns yes yeah. it's like it's like a fourth because it takes a lot to get them but you're literally getting like how are you going to be handed something like free and then like complain about it <laughs> you know, i don't get it either i don't like, know I, why I, does zoss ban but then again zoss also banned people for getting too much free stuff so i don't know <laughs> what too much free stuff that was part of what happened several weeks ago uh, this is kind of off topic but yeah people were uh purposefully uh cheesing the endeavor system like certain endeavors in certain places were like resetting for the same thing yeah that over was and over so that happened in way eu that happened in eu yeah jp yeah like uh, but people were exploiting it babe like that's yeah, that's the problem just reset too they yeah. could have just reset it too and it was oh a i thing. i agree i agree but I, I mean they are trying to like make it to to people to to see like hey like we don't we don't like people exploiting a bug so and they they've done that in the past too like this isn't a new thing so i mean i, I yeah no yeah no i'm just saying like though like i don't know i mean it's free it's, it's free how yeah, exactly how are you gonna complain about it so like i taking agree that back where we were like those rewards would be like a grind it mm -hmm. would be hard because it, it would mean it needs to mean something exactly like the only reason like the only reason like you know if you look in the pve world like some of those harder titles and stuff mean something because they're hard yeah like you lose the value if, if everyone you know if everyone's running around with their god slayer mounts like who cares like you know what i mean like it kind of devalues like the title and what you worked for no you know that was a big problem with, like world of warcraft like they they simplified everything so much towards the end just to keep their player base like whatever they had left after a lot of people left anyways and they it it completely the bottom fell out yeah and like that hasn't it 
it hasn't happened to the extent in like this game like yes there's like crazy power creep and like all this other stuff but i i don't think we're at the point where they're just like all right one last push let's we know the bottom's falling out anyways so it's like you know almost like a going out of business sale basically is <laughs> like when an mmo does that yeah no we're going out of business let's try to let's try to yeah the little bit that's left like happy and we just make everything like a complete free-for-all i mean you can make the argument that it's slowly maybe happening with like the amount of power creep and stuff in the game but we also don't know what the next like chapter's content looks like exactly. or what that endless dungeon looks like if that stuff's like really hard then I, you know what i mean or what those it makes sense. will be like at the, it would at make the end sense, of the year yeah. yeah i mean i'm not seeing it completely like i said i saw it and like wow i mean people <laughs> When people basically the equivalent would be like people farming like or just like random craglord and pugging like god slayers when that when that starts like happening or like stu similar stuff like that then you'll know that like it's basically like a going out of business sale so like i would say keep those things like i mean make it grindy make people work and mm -hmm. make people commit loyalty to a certain guild with like their exactly. currency I think. exactly like I'm not gonna give my trader guild like my coin that I or earned at, out of a trial that we ran out of Cougar City. You know what I mean? I think you could limit it. Obviously, that's a that's like a, a guild run. You know, like the chill team runs mm -hmm. most everyone from the guild. You know, so why wouldn't you represent? I wouldn't give it to like Brash or you know what I mean? Yeah. Like that currency. I mean, not to hate on Brash, but like that that no, that no. team wasn't ran out of his guild. So like I definitely understand. No, no. But if I ran on a team out of that guild, like I would, if I ran with them yeah. or whatever, you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 exactly. So. Same with me, like, um, you know, I'm in Valhalla. If I ran, like, a pug with Valhalla, I'm probably going to give that particular thing to Valhalla. But, the, you know, depending on, on how things are. I do like that, though. I'm just wondering how the point system is going to be for that. So that's that's something. Um, but I like I like that idea. I like that idea a lot. And one other thing um, that a lot of people have said is, like, you know the coffers you get at the end of the vet trials? Yeah. They're not perfected. <laughs> They're not perfected. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. like, if you finish a vet trial, why not get a perfected piece of gear in that vet coffer? You're only getting one yeah, once a week. Yeah, I've never that. Like, I don't get it. I understand if it's, like, normal. So, yeah, like, normal, that's perfectly fine. Um, and even vet, um, cause I mean, you could, you could argue that people are like, well, what if you get a ring? Um, you know, like have it to be a perfected purple ring. It doesn't matter. Whatever, well, you know. That's the thing too about like ESO. Like, I don't mind making a lower entry level to get like gear, mm -hmm. right? It's really not like as important as people think like that's one of the biggest things like you learn like when you're first starting out like it's not as important as it is in other mmos and other games it really isn't like you can you can clear a lot of stuff in this game in like blue crafted gear i mm -hmm. guarantee you like that, that i mean Dude, you want to do an all blue crafted gear trial team and try to prog stuff? Like, that's a good idea. Like, <laughs> like just to prove it. Like, seriously. Yeah. Like, same players, but like, hey, this is blue gear only run. Like, we're going to handicap ourselves and see. And I will be willing to bet that once you know the mechanics, I guarantee you we could blow through, like, all the, all, all the content and stuff. Oh, like, I'm it sure. doesn't matter. I'm sure. You know, like, so, so like, creating, like, a, um, a higher entry level to get like perfected gear and it's cool and you earned it but let's face it you're not running vet content for the perfected gear anyone that's in vet content isn't running for the gear we're running it for the title for the titles right yeah so why have that higher like entry level you know what i mean mm -hmm. like just just i don't know i i i don't know i i i've never i mean maybe people do but and that's only because they they value the gear like more like the perfected gear a lot of people that don't have it but i don't know how many times i talk to somebody that doesn't have perfected gear and they actually they think they're just like completely like handicapped and it's not like at, at it's not that big of a deal like at all and so i i think like just like lowering that bar to get in i don't think anyone would be mad i mean they pretty much like 
crossed that bridge when you know they did all the maelstrom like nerf stuff mm -hmm. and like do you remember when they changed yep. that yep. perfected yep. and like it, it ticked people off at the time you know because people spend a lot of time like farming that but i think like as a community we're kind of like past that now and i don't think anyone would be i mean are you good like I think the sticker it's like book a gate, it's, saved it. It's a gate, yeah. It's a gatekeeping type thing where I feel like it's not really gatekeeping, but I feel like less experienced players feel like they have to have the vet gear because you know that was like the thing in like in WoW you had like a gear score, and it's like the done mm. the trial only drops like twenty five hundred rated gear, but groups were like, well, you need three K. It's like, well, if I had three K, a, a higher gear score, why would I be farming like lower level gear? like you see what i mean it's yeah like a, exactly it's like, it's like a gatekeeping thing and i think a lot of people think that in this game but really it's not it's not like holding anyone back so i mean the perfected gear idea i think they could like change something with that or do something or like the reward for doing vet is like like you know more cosmetic -y or whatever back to like the guild thing to like tie it in or whatever oh Maybe so that's you're what so you're saying that like for the vet coffers that it should be more like um guild related i guess so have it Ooh. no i'm just saying in general oh in general just because Meg, no this came up in chat the other day too we were talking about stuff you get from trials and it's like what is one of the best things you can get from a trial like the poly out of uh boss, boss yeah. right yeah more of that easy or a motif in your coffer yeah yeah well you get a you get a Could motif just... you get a motif in your coffer don't you yeah uh yeah yeah so sometimes usually um you Not always, no in the newer in the newer dlc i think it's guaranteed you get yeah a, yeah you, right. you get a guarantee yeah, in the older ones like in vmo it, it is not a guarantee that's why like the dramathra uh motifs are so um rare because mm -hmm. uh they they weren't guaranteed but i think in the new ones they are guaranteed but yeah like they could add something in there you know, like. Well, no, I, I guess why I brought the point up is because the counter argument would be like perfected gear. Now people are going to be able to get it like two, like an extra piece or two. But like honestly, everyone that has perfected gear, do you actually like? Would you be upset if it was easy for someone coming up, no. like, to be able to get it? No, like, and feel good about themselves and not think that it's a barrier to entry. It's it's like, a not lot of really. Think, it's not anyways, but a lot of people like think that it is or they feel that way like newer players so i think like mm -hmm. i don't know some kind of change I, I don't know exactly but some kind of change to like perfected gear or something like that i mean or, i don't know like i feel i feel that if if you already finished the trial on vet because this would be on vet this is a vet trial clear i feel like that is not a bad thing to get a random piece of gear it doesn't have to be um inventory um tailored either like, it doesn't have to be sticker book tailored. So it could be just, like, a random piece of gear. And, it, hey, if you get, like, a good drop, you get a good drop. It's, like, RNG. Ooh! What if you could pick the item? That's what the coffer is. Yeah, that's... I would probably not be very... I mean, it would make... Why? Because Who then cares? you... The carry system that, that, you know, like... Then there's no point in us having just keep like uh the you know the one or two slots same with jen for for carries and vdsr like what's the point in that then what's the point uh, of... because you could well if you could pick if you could pick i can see her one, one. they're still gonna do one carry to get through it i mean i don't, I don't... yeah but like it's... Again, most people though, a lot of the carry money is like titles and skins, anyways. I mean, to be, I mean, I know yeah. people do want the gear, and you do a lot of them. I get it, but like, it's not gonna kill that. Like, I mean, it's not, it's, gonna... it's not gonna kill it completely. I, I don't think picking would be correct though. Um, now, if it was, I would not mind for the weekly though, coffer. Like, let's say Hellrise the weekly. And you get a weekly coffer from you know the doing the leaderboards. I don't mind that being pick what you want. You know. Yeah. That, That's fair. That I wouldn't be upset because yeah, that would work. Because, yeah, that would work. Yeah. Like you literally get to pick the the piece. Yep. Well, that way, yeah. like you can also like fill your sticker book quicker too. Mm -hmm. Like if you got to pick the missing piece or get that one piece yeah. of gear that you want. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. 
So yeah, I agree with her though. Yeah, it would limit replayability, I guess, if you just gave them exactly what they wanted up front. Unless you got like an extra reward for finishing a sticker book. You know what I mean? Like something beyond just collectability, because there's not even an achievement for you know getting all of Advancing Yokita or something, right? Aside from just saying that you have it and it's cheaper to craft it again, even if you never use it again. There, yeah, yeah. There, there's there's not an achievement yet. <laughs> There's not an yeah, achievement true. yet. Cause they... I know I logged in and got all those crazy, like, <laughs> yeah. like mythic achievements. I like, know. I was sitting there, for, like, like, mm -hmm. like I want to get into, like, my trial. Like, this, I want to go part, <laughs> and I literally have that stuff, like, popping up on my screen for, like, 10 minutes. <laughs> I, I know, so, like, I wanna... <laughs> and, and they did it for, like, the Necro and the Warden and all that stuff. And I'm, like, yeah, the... and I'm, what, like, yeah. I'm logging in, and I'm, like, what is all this? Like, why? Why? I got a Nightblade achievement for having a Nightblade. I was like, what the hell? I don't, I I don't understand. Like, like, why? <laughs> why? I There's don't no understand reason. why. Like, that was so like, random. Our game, like, with a latency, and we're working on performance, so we're going to add more stuff for the, <laughs> the engine to calculate. Like, wow, you guys are smart. Big brain. Big oh, brains. man. Like, out of all the achievements that you could do, like... <laughs> I don't know. Is it really an achievement if pretty much everybody that's into achievements is going to have that achievement anyways? Like, I mean, come on, guys. Like, no. I mean, pretty soon. Oh, wait. Watch out. They're going to have one for eating your first food or drinking your first beverage. <laughs> exactly. Like, why? Oh, my gosh. You charged a weapon. Achievement. Five achievement points. Weapon charger. Like, come on. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> talk to an npc i don't i don't under i mean i guess it keeps the achievement hunters like at bay like that's probably why they but did anyone it anyone that achievement hunts is already gonna have that achievement. i know so i know like it's you know what it so is? random you know what it is? it's to create new achievement hunters like people uh, that log in yeah here's a little piece of candy Ooh, you like seeing that little thing pop up on your screen yeah. hey, the, or hey the first hit piece of candy hey, it's piece of candy hit. yeah dude that's what it is <laughs> maybe it's actually i could see that i could see that <laughs> you know you know what else i could see that would probably help the pvp community is to have a fucking mount that would store your pvp <laughs> siege and yeah like, dude like have it to where um oh, you can make it a wagon that follows behind it exactly yeah, just like exactly charging across the earth now wagon. now you would have to get this with ap this isn't this is something that will be in pvp only so you can't put it in pve um i mean i guess he could do it in pve but like that's the banker you know but um you can have it in pvp or you can purchase it with ap um obviously there's some achievements tied into it that you would have to do in order to obtain this like have it to where you obtain like a uh, x amount of castles or whatever um during your pvp adventures but yeah have it to where it's a wagon like merc said wagon that follows your you around or whatever um or tied to your mount or whatnot but have it to where like you can go in the back get your 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 siege out <laughs> And then, like, have it out there, you know? Yeah, it's too many inventory slots to run around. I just can't, like, I just can't do it. Like, I know. you have to have so much time. Like, I know. So, y'all put the y'all y'all put the thought in my mind of an already set up siege engine, just like, you know, being pulled on wheels behind uh, your mount. So I'm thinking of like a little guar running across Cyrodiil with a giant ass <laughs> trebuchet already. Set up. Speaking of guars, more wars, like. More guars, also, always, forever. Dude, they don't have an I'm apex guar. Disappointed. Yeah, there's no radiant apex guar. Like, this is disappointing. <laughs> Merc would have no, an already. Radiant, radiant apex guar for Merc. Yeah, there's no there's no radiant apex guar. He would have it already, believe me. Um, I'm pretty sure he has enough endeavors to like get whatever how about, radiant how about apex. Mount emotes. Like, ah. ooh, you have your radiant apex guar, and he like fix he like flicks his tongue out. And like thanks. <laughs> oh, that's cute. <laughs> and that's like it's my butt. Like, like, like mount. Like literally, like emotes that you can only do while mounted. That'd be really cool. Mounted emotes. Mounted system. emotes. That nice. that would yeah, like that it. actually would like, be pretty pretty interesting. I would love to see like, that. Can, the the tongue the tongue sticking out or whatever. Like, can you imagine? Can you imagine he like flicks his he like flicks his tongue out or like whatever. <laughs> you can make your like 
fit your thing something breathe fire like like you know i have character like emo emotes or whatever but you imagine know, if you had like that a, is, a whole system that is the shit here. that you can put in the game for people to earn because you know how you you have dawnbringer with me jp we get that memento you you remember <laughs> Have it to yeah, where you can yeah. earn emotes for doing, you know, specific content, whether it be PvE, PvP, you know, dungeons, trials, whatever. Like, hey, you do this X amount of whatever, you get an emote. Um, it's not just, you know, skins. Like, put more cosmetics into the game. That way, people can actually earn them. And it's not hard to do. They can add it to already, like, to stuff that's already done. Um, and just no, yeah, no, yeah, know. for sure. And all you would have to do is just like do it again, like have it to where, let's say you finish, um, Moon Hunter Keep or something like that, and um, that you get you get like a little mount emote or whatever, or you get like a fragment. Have it to where. I don't know, as specific dungeons can have the chance to drop fragments that you can put together to get an emote. Dude, yeah. dude I want to change my Arcanist beam to purple. Oh, oh yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> dude, I want all that green to be purple. <laughs> like, I, You guys I are going to put a light show in Craglorn, like seriously? <laughs> I know, wouldn't that be cool though? You could have like purple, blue, red, green, like you could totally like do it. It'd be like or, Star like, Wars up in here. <laughs> Dude, I just want, I love like, I want like purple. I want like dark purple, blue, like, like Arcanus. Like the green is just, I'm tired of the green. It's the only thing I don't like about the class. I'm just tired of seeing the green everywhere. It's like. I mean, it, it's, I mean, it's class, um, what is it? Class. I guess like just how they are. I guess the the green is. Yeah, why is it green though? It doesn't have to be green. Like, how does that not fit? I mean, they like shoot like stuff out of their book, like in or whatever. I don't know. I'm not a lore master. <laughs> yeah, yeah. there's I different Jenny. kinds of books. Why couldn't it be different colors? It was reading rainbow, right? So why not? Exactly. I mean, I guess. Um... That's something you could potentially put out there in the game. Dude, when I'm beaming a boss, I literally hear the Reading Rainbow like theme song. Take a look what's in a book. As my beams like... <laughs> <laughs> like, I totally hear that. Um, actually, they might be putting stuff like that. They In the Endless Dungeon, it's supposed to drop like specific gear tailored to specific classes. So Yeah, well, I better get a purple beam. That's all I'm saying. I mean, they could put it there to where you could customize your your colors or whatever for your class like i mean we have custom recall animations and mining animations why can't i have a custom beam animation yeah can you imagine the the templars breath of life being like red like just like a red yeah. breath of life like comes in. i mean that would that would make the game that would fuck with the game though but Dude, my wall of elements is like a blue, like fire, like a really bright, like blue, like mm. instead of like the red cracked, like look. Imagine if that was all like a purpley red, like that'd be cool. Yeah, I guess the way that uh, it would be cool is to just have it to where you can only see that though. Um, Cause like imagine if- Oh yeah, otherwise PVP, it would be hard to tell what you're, yeah. Cause people do have like yeah, counterplay they, they, and if they can't yeah, identify what it is you're playing against them, I, that makes sense. Yeah. They ended the enemy AOE and the colors. Yeah, exactly. You can, yeah, exactly. You can adjust your own colors in your own screen. Nobody else sees that. Yeah. Exactly. Like, that's, that's, that's what I'm saying. No, I'd want other people to see my laser Arcanist light show. I mean, I guess for the Arcanist you can because it, you, you see the beam anyway. For stuff that you can Our actually boat. see from other players, I think that's fine. But I'm talking about like, you can see the breath of life, I guess. Um, and you can see the beam, so I could see that, but I don't know. <laughs> Are both morphs of the, of the uh, beam green? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh. So they, I mean, I could see, I could see them doing that. Um, but I know that people are going to say, well, why does the Arcanist get, you know, this? Um, they're going to, they're going to want to have it for other classes too, which I mean, that's, that's fine. Um, now like this. Dude, engulfing, I want my engulfing flame to be like yellow. 
on my DK. Like, is, like isn't I, it already? So, no, it's kind of like reddish yellow, isn't it? No, it's like orange. It looks like fire, but I want to. I want it to be like. What if I want a blue flame? Like blue fires, huh? Like that'd be so cool. <laughs> That's what Your I was necro saying. Skull, like a bouncing skull, like a purple trail behind it, dude. That'd be so dope. I mean, it kind of is, but or bright red. Imagine like a bright red like necro skull. <laughs> the only way they do this though is is whenever they import the whole game to PS5, um, or like the Xbox One or whatever, because. I don't think the PS4 can take that. <laughs> um, no, yeah, the PS4s are like bad. Yeah, I, I think... wonder how many it's, like, that on fire. Like, anyways. Well, anyway. I, I know, oh. I know, Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Fiddle Ponce, uh, not well, husband. Yeah, kind of husband. Um, Mr. Fiddle, like, I think his. I don't know if it like came on fire, but I'm pretty wait, sure. Wait, wait, wait. What's a kind of husband? Yeah, they're not Are married. You a kind of <laughs> they're not married, but they're I mean they're married technically Are by the significant <laughs> kind of husband. <laughs> they're kind of they're kind of married Good when job. you when you think about the fact that they're they've been together for like ages. But they're not just married. Not they're not of. they're not technically married. Just, just not kind <laughs> okay. of husband. <laughs> but no, like his his PlayStation, I don't know about being set on fire, but like it kinda went out. His PS4 went out, so I know, yeah. I know he's getting a PS5. Rip. So, <laughs> Rip. Yeah, I was like, man, that sucks. Because whenever you're talking about this old light show or whatnot, like, that's, that PS4 is not going to handle that. I hate to say it, but, True. dude, it's not going to handle. Like, that's, that's not going to be handled. I can guarantee you that right now. You know? I think we're going to actually see more color in the game, though. Like, the Arcanus was just, like, a trial. Like, okay, everyone's all right with the green. Let's add purple or add blue I could, or whatever. I could I see know. that. I could see I could see them adding color to, to the game. Because that... <laughs> I mean, did... Um, what, what is... Merc, what is that... Um, the, the guy that does ESO memes or whatever? Like, he... Um, he said something about the Arcanus, and it's like a cat with, like, beams shooting out of it, like a disco show. The, that oh, YouTube. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> There's a YouTube video out there with like the ESO memes or whatever, and like everybody, he said like everybody playing Arcane is, and it was like a cat with like green beams coming out of it, like a disco thing. <laughs> it's kind of weird, but it is what it is. Um, I mean, the the only other thing I know Jen mentioned this, and JP. You're probably not gonna like this, but turn in non perfected for perfect gear. No, dude, I mentioned that. Oh, do you? Oh, oh it was you. It was you. Okay. I, it would have to be a big ass, like, amount of non perfected yeah, gear. Yeah, like a lot. Like a lot. I'm sorry, though. If you spend. You spend that much time like trying to do it. I I don't know. I think it'd be fun. I mean, what would you? Know, what would you say the pain. number would be? Like, let's say. I don't know. Um, let's say you you acquire like X amount of chests, I guess, like coral riptide chest. Well, if you're gonna go specific piece by piece, I don't. Know. Well, that would be really hard. No, it just had to be like, you know, deep break down like fifty pieces and get one or something, like something crazy, like twenty five to one or something like that. Like twenty five random pieces would turn into like a. Blue. And then actually, to make your trader friends happy, you would have to still upgrade. You'd have to have mats or something. Like to do that, you'd have to like spend like, you know, if it was a a chest piece and it was leather, you'd have to spend the wax. It, it'd cost you like wax too, like twenty five pieces and a piece and and wax to like turn it into perfected. Oh, okay. There actually, you go. actually yeah, that's that's actually a good idea. It would, it would make the mats market a little bit better. I mean, granted. Yeah, yeah. Could you imagine? Like, okay, so I have 25 pieces of whatever, and I want to get a random piece. You have to put, put like, eight wax or eight whatever for that one piece or what? I don't know. Yeah, and it would have it to be, be from some... the same trial, too. So it could be. Yeah, yeah. And it could give you, like, a random. I could, yeah. Actually, I would not be mad about that. Um, now, as far as, like, the the... If it's like body pieces, it'll give you a random body piece. If it's a weapon, then it gives you a random weapon. Um, and this is not sticker book um, 
like friendly, I guess, because I mean, you're you're farming gear, um, and I know people are gonna bitch and moan about this, but you're turning in non-perfected for no, perfected. No, that's exactly what I was saying before. Who cares? Like honestly. No, people are gonna bitch that they're like, well, we're not gonna get to pick. You know, we've put in twenty five pieces in eight. Oh yeah. And I'm like. Get, get, I thought you're saying people that already have perfected. Like I farm my perfect. I farmed my perfected gear. Oh, like, they're gonna, they're it. gonna, they're people, gonna moan too. Now these, people, now these people can get it. It's like, oh, be quiet. Like it's not even like vet content is even that hard. Like to go and no. farm it. Like honestly, I mean, like, look at Sanity's Edge. Sanity's Edge, yeah, stuff hits really hard. But like the harder content in there is hard mode. So like that's that's where the the real, you know content is really the real easy content is so i'm like oh i want perfected craglorn gear too <laughs> perfected craglorn yeah we've been talking that about that i bet it's coming at some point since they're finally just now fixing like where everything's dropping i expect that yeah. to be next oh you think so uh, the per yep. perfected gear or whatever perfected bonuses on all like all the gear because it briefly came up like uh i mean ay isn't good anymore but i was telling people go ahead and collect what you got because you know all it takes is them making perfected and adding one line yeah. to push it above something else and it's op again yeah yeah ay is okay it's still it's still it's good for cleave it's good for cleave on a DK no yeah so advancing yokita is actually not bad um there's yeah. there's some gear in trials that you know, if you don't have other gear, it's not a bad. And that's that's why I like Skinny Cheeks, because he, he does, like, hey, if you don't have this gear, you could start here and then go mm -hmm. here and then go here. Because, um, I mean, JP's saying, like, content is not that hard. It really isn't. It's not hard to hit 100k nowadays if you follow the rotation. And you don't even have to have it perfect. Like yeah, to to and be if you, and if you figure out like boss health lowered by ten percent, yeah. so your hundred k is really like a hundred and ten k. Yeah, like, exactly. Yeah, basically like as far as like difficulty goes, like you know, I don't know. But no, I mean, um, so babe, did you have any quality of life things that that you thought about besides the the guar? I know you want the guar. Uh, well, let's see. Just stuff we've talked about in the past, like being able to change armor in the trials, like PC. Oh my god, or, yes. We hadn't mentioned that yet. It comes up every time, so I figured I'd mention it I again. mean, I wish that we could get uh, ESO logs. Actually. We talked about the fungin leaderboards, temporary cosmetics, you know, between times to flex and show that you're OP. Uh, let's see here. I mean, they have former Emperor titles with like exactly Emperor why not Iris. former slayer of fungal grotto <laughs> who knows something like that <laughs> yeah slayer fungal grotto one let's go like perfect timing exactly. for this event you know that would probably be actually extremely competitive since anybody can do it like the times for whoever wins that week would probably be like in the milliseconds deciding who wins you can so. literally do fungal grotto one in like two minutes well, yeah, but you might lose like points four, for not killing minutes. everything. It'd be like trials. Like uh, <laughs> that's what I was telling people the other day. I mean, how hard is it to assign a value to each little enemy killed? You know, like, and you literally uh, run, uh, calculate the time. You literally kill two bosses in that whole trial, or in, in that yeah, whole but that's dungeon. for speed run. You might lose a. What if you lose like 10k, you know, points or whatever for missing every boss? So if you speed run it, you'd only get like 30, 40 K, but somebody that runs through and gets all the bosses and gets a speed run might get a hundred K. You know what I mean? Yeah. I like mean, there's a way to do it. It doesn't seem like it'd be hard, but anyways, uh, uh, I think that was it. We talked about the, did we talk about the housing? The housing. Getting a better scale for like when you buy stuff from traders oh, no, or from no. the ground store. No, so Mer all it has is that stupid grid, which tells you nothing. You kind of have to figure it out, but then when you buy it and it's way smaller or bigger than you anticipated, like have it with an actual figure standing next to it so you can tell how big it is. So basic, now would it be this your, came up your because, character uh, or, or just like... Yeah, like or, or a standard character, like a standard average size character, just something that's okay. in the range, you know. It doesn't have to be like the tallest Nord or the smallest Wood Elf, just something in the middle. Um, the reason this partially came up was because that one ESO uh, 
uh, furnishing store, or whatever, online is, you know, going away. Wait. So now people don't wait. have as good of a place to go look. What is it? It's not ESOU. It's the the furnishing thing. I can't remember what it's called. So the yeah, ESO fashion the, or whatever. The the people that did the, MMO fashion or whatever it was. Or, yeah. They're yeah. going away. I did not know that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> mm -hmm. I wonder why. Sauce like. Takes no, he crowns. said like it's hard for him to maintain it, like to keep yeah. the webs. Like... Yeah, that's that's probably the re like the the <clears throat> excuse. But like, there's people leaving the game because of the crown gifting as well. Um, no, this uh, I think this was before. No, he said it. The guy that ran the website, it's like for sale too. I think. Oh, it's like, for sale. What? Gonna... Yeah. My God. Yeah, I don't know. I read an article somewhere, like in Reddit or something, about it. Yeah, he said like. Or they said um, that, like, I don't know, work being busy and it was more of, like, a labor of passion, you know, mm -hmm. the, and, like, cost, like, the cost to maintain the website, he was, like, it wasn't breaking even, basically, you know, so it became, like, it became, like, an expense, basically, to, like, do it, essentially. So, yeah. Or something like that I think I read somewhere. Yeah, somebody did a, somebody did a content video of it, I can't remember who did, but, yeah, essentially... They even brought up, like, numbers of how much it costs for the server and everything. It was pretty detailed. But, yeah, that was one reason it came up, because now people don't have as easy of a place to go look at that stuff. ESOU, maybe, but it doesn't have all the pictures yeah, of everything. Yeah, it doesn't have all the pictures. Housing yeah. people, like, and no, yeah. I went Netflix Same with, like, stepping away, too. That's That could be a problem. Uh, yeah, well, I figured that for a while, because of Starfield and other stuff. Um, They'll be back. <laughs> previewing dyes on Crown Store items. That actually, store, that actually uh, would be pretty cool to, to preview dies. Because all you can, like I was saying, you can only see what it looks like on your character, but if you want it to be a certain color and it's one of those, you know, depending on the kind of fabric that they programmed it to be, it may not die the way you want it to. So you might just buy something that you can't use the way you intended. So those were the extra things I had. Okay. Well, I mean, we we talked a lot about what we would like um now what what of all the topics we have talked about jpy like what is the one that you wish sauce would do like just pick one dungeon leaderboards dungeon leaderboards okay or dungeon, dungeon rewards the i do i'm gonna i'm gonna go with you on that and have like kind of do that with the um the leaderboard system for the the trials and such as well um and i mean i know what merc's gonna be merc wars oh of course of course well i was gonna say with you guys but with a hard very close second being uh guar emotes yes well no i think okay, jp so was like saying yeah, okay. the mount emotes it's not just Guar. It was. It would be Mount. Well, Eagle. you know, Mount equals Guar for me. So. Well, you know what? You know what? Cougar Guars have been <laughs> hated on for so long. It's only Guars that can emote. There you go. <laughs> there like, you go. They it's have fine. been hated though. <laughs> yeah. Like, there's no raiding Apex. Like, come on. I've. There's no Horker Mount either in this game. Like. I know. Sad. That. Saddens me. So hopefully Sauce is listening. But uh, anyways, uh, thank you guys for listening. If there is a quality of life change that you would like to see in the game, or if actually there's um, something that we have missed, you can always put it down in the comment section. We would love to hear about you, um, about what you think of quality of life, just the game in general and such. And we are actually going to go. Thank you guys. Thanks to our boosters for boosting our Discord. And here is our Discord link if you wish to join us in, in our endeavors. And, well, have a good day. Holla, holla.